Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to talk about the mill turn software uh, when you're using uh, two turrets, like an upper turret and a lower turret, how you mount the tools uh, for the upper or lower, or how you tell the software whether you're using the upper turret or the lower turret with the main spindle or the sub spindle for that uh, matter. So in this case here, I have a, um, I have a turning cycle that I use with my upper turret and then I have a grooving cycle I use with my lower turret okay so just an example of how you can use uh, both your upper turret and you can use your lower turret with the Bobcat software so let's kinda get started here um, let me, one of the things that you'll notice is so I'm just using some wireframe geometry you'll notice that everything is programmed in the same orientation like I don't use the bottom of the part uh, to program this and really um, you need to make sure this this is my world coordinate here my machine setup I have negative Z I have X and I have Y so you have to pay attention to your origin and where your part is um, your part geometry may be in a top view or a front view for your turning cycle uh, so you definitely need to pay attention to that stuff but let me do this I'm gonna select all my geometry here I'm gonna copy it let's create a new file and we'll paste it and uh, this gives me, let me just trim up some of this stuff here. This gives me my geometry. I have uh, some geometry for the turning cycle and some geometry for the grooving cycle. Okay, so we're going to create a new job. We'll come in here, we'll do a new job, mill turn job, and then we have these different machines. Now, Understand when you purchase the Milturn software, uh, we're going to send you a bunch of documents and we're going to build a machine based off of the information you get us. So all the kinematics, the post processor, it's all tailored to your equipment and what you're using. And you'll get a machine. These are just the generic machines that come with the software, you know, single turret, single spindle. Uh, single turret, dual spindle, single turret, dual spindle with a Y, two turret, two spindle, two turret, two spindle, five axis. So these just cover some of the basic mill turn type machines and configurations. In this case, we're going to go to a two turret, two spindle, and we'll go ahead and start the stock wizard. We're going to use cylindrical stock. We're going to align that cylindrical stock with the part geometry. And then for our origin, we want to set our Z axis going in this direction. So this is negative Z. And then our X axis, I want to go in this direction. So this is X and Z uh, for our part geometry. Now you'll also notice you have left spindle and right spindle. Uh, when you do a machine setup for the sub spindle, you'll you'll tell it that you're on the right side or if you're in the main spindle you'll have it on the left side okay so that's something to important to take a look at also within your work offsets um, your work offsets are used to shift the part in simulation but they're also going to be used for when you do part transfers and pickups so that it simulates properly and aligns properly and we'll we'll cover that in a later video but you will see that um, you have sub spindle z position spindle park position you know and then your x y and z values and just like in the normal milling how you can push the part around on the machine you can do the same thing in mill turn using your work offsets all right we'll go ahead and choose okay Okay. Now, one of the things that you're going to notice in the tree right away is we have our machine setup number one, and then the machine, uh, what we call a submachine, also could be considered a work zone. This is um, upper turret main spindle, UT upper turret main spindle. So that's the upper turret and the main spindle. That's what we're working on in this particular uh, setup. Now, all right, so let's uh, let's get in here. We're gonna load a turning feature, lay turning. We're gonna select our geometry like we normally would. Okay, from here we're gonna do turning. I'm just gonna do, uh, you know, we can do a turning rough and finish. That's fine. Okay, you'll also notice at this point when we go into posting, it's saying submachine. So the submachine is the upper turret main spindle, which is what we want. Okay, which means we're dealing with the main uh, main spindle and we're dealing with the upper turret. Okay. Now for our tool, we're going to go to our tool crib, and you'll see this is a little bit different of a turret than the last video I had just done, but. Um, 
you know, just the same. We can you can do your own custom turrets. I mean, we covered some of the basics here. All right. So we want to go to station number one and we want to add an adapter. So we're going to right click add adapter from there. We're going to do side mount and this is going to be an X adapter. And here you can see we have an, our, our adapter. Now, these are the loose tools. These are kind of like the manual tools. They haven't been mounted yet and they kind of show up. Um, I'm actually going to load the tools right from the tool library. So I'm going to do add tool, right click, add tool, and then I'm going to go to the tool library. And the reason why is all of these tools, uh, these default tools that come with the software, they have tool holders. Uh, the manual tools, they don't have tool holders. And what I would recommend that you do is you set up your tools and your tool holders so you get a better simulation experience. I'm just going to grab this 80 degree uh, tool here. This should be fine. And we'll choose OK. All right, so now the tool is mounted um, in the adapter. You'll notice that the zero of the tool is right at the face, this face of the adapter. So I want to shift that out. So I use a value of three and a half. So I just have it punched out. But you can fully uh, define where that tool and holder is in relation to the adapter. OK, so I've selected my tool. I'm going to go ahead and choose OK. I'm going to go to my finished tool, tool crib. And I'm just going to go to this same tool here. And then I'll choose OK. All right. Now from here, you can go through and program your cycle. This is all fine. Um, the MDI block, this is for special uh, blocks of code that happen in the beginning, middle, or end of an operation. Um, you know, we'll use this for part transfers, but it can be used for a variety of different things. You can save and load different blocks of code. Actually, very, very useful feature. Not something we're going to use right at this point. We're going to go ahead and choose uh, compute, and you can see we generated our toolpath uh, for the roughing cycle. Okay. So now what I want to do is load another cycle. This is lathe turning. I'm going to select this groove geometry right here. From this groove geometry, I'm going to go to a turning groove cycle. Okay. Now what I need to do at this point is I need to tell it Again, submachine is what it's called. You could also think of it as a work zone. What turret I'm using and with what spindle. So in this case, I'm using the lower turret with the main spindle. So I need to tell it LTMS, uh, lower turret main spindle. And your submachines, this is the naming convention we used. You could uh, edit uh, what the naming convention is when you set up your machine or use something different. We, we feel that these are pretty... Um, straightforward naming conventions and it makes sense lower turret main spindle very good all right from here we're going to go to our tool crib and you'll notice we're no longer on the upper turret we're now on the lower turret it says lower turret over here we have all of our station numbers we're going to do the same thing we're going to add an adapter side mount adapter x tool adapter okay here we get our adapter from here i'm going to add a tool i'm going to go to the tool library i'm going to grab a uh, a grooving tool. Uh, this one right here looks fine. Okay, I'm gonna bump it out a little bit and that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and choose OK. Now you'll notice when I go to the groove tool I have this loose tool here. Okay, and if, if I uh, compute the tool path it will compute the tool path but if I try to simulate this at this point, it's going to say unmounted tools are found. Please mount these tools. So basically, because I didn't, um, I didn't define that uh, that uh, lower tool there. Like, see if you see this tool is loose now. It's not going to let you go to simulation. You got to make sure your tools are mounted. So let me get out of there. I'm going to go back to this feature. I'll go to my my finish groove tool. Okay, and instead of mounting this loose one here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the rough tool as well, and I'll choose OK. So I'm using the same tool to rough and finish, and then I'll go ahead and compute. And now you can see we have our turning cycle and we have our grooving cycle. Both are listed in the tree here. Okay, when we go to simulation, We're going to see we have our two tools. Now, you do get machine simulation with, um, 
with the Milturn software, it comes standard. Uh, there's some chucks that are drawn in here, which you can customize. You can see that my uh, material, I didn't push it out, uh, out of the chuck face yet. You do see my upper turret and my lower turret. You can see my two different tools here. For this case, I'm just going to go to workpiece focus. We can see we have a tool on the upper turret and one on the lower turret. Uh, as we play this through, we get our turn cycle there, and then we get our groove cycle there. So again, to recap, uh, your submachine is, is going to determine, under posting, your submachine is going to determine what turret and uh, uh, spindle re really that feature is working on. So what turret and spindle that feature is working on, and you can choose from the different submachines, or you can think of them as work zones that are defined on your machine, okay? Um, when you're loading your tool, let's go to the tool crib. When you're loading your tool, you're gonna add an adapter. Again, you can, uh, you can customize these adapters. Uh, you can build your own in. We have a bunch of adapters that already come uh, loaded with the software. Uh, we have uh, default turrets that have been created already. Uh, we also have a turret uh, creator as well, which is kind of nice. But So you load your tool based off of your station. In this case, we have two turrets. Um, so we have our upper turret and our lower turret. We, in our upper turret, we have our turning tool. In our lower turret, we have our grooving tool. And uh, really, it's just as simple as that. As far as our orientation, our machine uh, setup matches the orientation that we would have the part on the machine. So this is negative Z and this is X. Our toolpath um, geometry selection, we're going to select the geometry that matches that um, Z and X quadrant, okay? And then whether the submachine determines whether it's going to use the lower turret or the upper turret. So hopefully you guys found this information uh, useful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. If you like the video, let's get a thumbs up. We always appreciate that. I've been getting a lot of really great comments lately, so thank you everybody so much. Uh, if you have any uh, comments you want to add to the video, you can do so below. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you so much. Bye now.